Alrighty then. Hey guys, what's up? It's me. <laughs> oh no. no. You just had to get it out of the way. It's good. I'm good. You can restart. You good? Okay. We're good. Go ahead. No, Start we're it over again. Restart. As you have probably seen in the past, there was a little vloggity vlog vlog that I posted. This is Steven. Put your hand in and say hi. Hi everybody. He's going to do a little bit of a commentary on my sketchbook tour today. This is my summer sketchbook. I have filled it up from the last sketchbook. So let's go ahead and open it up and take a look. So in case anyone asks, this is an LO sketchbook. Steven, you have one of these, don't you? I do. You do? I haven't drawn in it yet. Yeah. So this is Vanilla P, just a little something in my own style. This was in my own style too. This is actually ink. The reason you're not hearing a lot from me is because even uh, though I've already looked through the sketchbook once, I'm still kind of amazed by it because there's so much detail in every shot and I really, really like the lighting. Cause like that right there, the ability to do, like, you know, we've got just on the cat's face, like three or four shades of lighting going on. And I'm a detail guy being one of those video editors. And so I can sit there and just stare at the cat's face for like five minutes before I move into any other detail here. All right, and this was from a Scholar Box video where it was watercolor pencils and- I used to have one of those. You used to have a pig? Yep, one with pig. wings. Did he fly? Yeah. What was his name? Wilbur. All right, and then I've got Owen and Baby Blue. Oh, that's Baby Blue, not this Ronald? No. Do they get to see Ronald? Is he in here? Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, Ronald is in here. Yep, this is where Ronald was born. All right, and then this is Thumbelina. Cross hatching. Cross hatching. My favorite shading technique. With Cross hatching is a favorite of mine because you can do deeper contrast, especially if you do it right, like she did, because there's no detail on the arm, but you don't have to because the cross hatching is so deep here that it's the contrast that makes it pop, not necessarily the detail like you saw in the ink, which is another reason I can stare at this stuff. I like that she does all these different types of shading. I'm big on contrast. And here's another. Ariel. Ariel, you know who this is? All right, and there you are. Yeah, I so did I punch a wave. You, you did <laughs> punch a wave. I don't remember seeing wave. this one. You don't remember seeing this? No. You don't remember seeing this on Instagram? No. To buy twenty dollar flip flops. That's <laughs> basically what it was too. Only they were on sale for ten. So Steven and I went on a trip to Myrtle Beach, and this is what basically happened. I just started making like little comics, and this is currently my Facebook profile picture. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yep. And I love this one. I punched away. I still like this one. Yes. He destroyed so many crab legs. I night. fell in love with him so much all <laughs> over again just for eating crab legs with me. All right, and this is from the the new Disney Princess Styles from Rick It Ralph 2. So I just drew like when they were like kidnapped and enslaved. <laughs> Who's that? Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Ron and Hermione. And then, do you know who that is? Is that ink again? No, this is watercolor. No kidding. There's Steven again. Stop hitting every bump on the road. Was that me? No, no, that's me. Oh. That was me. This I'm not was the like... one operating the motor vehicle on that one. No, this was like on the way to see you at Kingsport, and that's where we were in the trailer oh, at Kingsport. Okay. See, do you get it now? Yep. Uh, here's Ralph and Vanellope. The bunny gets the pancake. The bunny gets the pancake. This is, um, from the Adams Family when they were singing Crazier Than You and it was just a warm up sketch I wanted to do. So if you know the musical, you know what's going on. I don't know musicals, so I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> yes. Cut. <laughs> Here's Drac and Mavis for Father's Day. Some guy. <laughs> I drew P.T. Barnum and all these marker sketches are done with Ohuhu markers. Ohuhu. Ohuhu. So here's P.T. Barnum, and I actually wrote all the lyrics of The Greatest Show in the background behind P.T. And I did the same for Letty, and here's all the, oh, this is me lyrics. Beard is thicker than mine. Well, you know, she's the bearded woman from the circus. Uh -huh. She sings good. Yeah. yeah. Here's Charity from Tightrope, and they got all the lyrics in the background. Pretty Skin cool. tones on point. Thank you. And and then here is Zendaya or Anne from Grey Showman, Rewrite the Stars. And here's the thing, I actually made Philip from the other side, but I made it to where he's looking at her like they're looking at each other. See it? Mm-hmm. Do you see it? Do you see it? Do see it? Do see it? Wow, 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 wow. And then there's a squirrel. I love your fat animals. You Fun fit fact, squirrel. she draws fat animals like there's no tomorrow. I and know. I think it's great because they all have distinctive personalities. Mm, you dear. Henry? Henry the fat Henry squirrel. Henry Beauregard the second. Oh, and I don't like her. I really don't like how I did this at all. But 
you know, I wasn't aiming to be awesome. Pass. Oh, and I love this one, A Million Dreams, probably my favorite song from The Greatest Showman, and this was the last one I did of this little cute series. I wouldn't know. I never saw it. <laughs> Ooh, Dad. That's my favorite. That's Ronald. <laughs> Ronald the Dinosaur. And I know the audience is sitting there going, what's the story behind Ronald? Well, even if you don't care, I'm going to tell you. <laughs> one morning, sitting in church of all places, she sent me some sketches of this fat little dinosaur, and I told her that it was hilarious and awesome, and she needed to keep drawing him. So, she inked him out, gave him colors, and gave him a name, and now I get doodles of Ronald all the time in his many adventures. No. He's one of my favorite dramatic parrot characters. No. My obese child who likes to bite everyone in the face. My favorite thing. Get this wretched thing off me. That basically <laughs> contains that dog's entire attitude in one sentence. Who that? You know who they are. Etna, my darling. <laughs> and that's do, all I'm doing. Do no, more, do more, no more, do one more, more, do one more. Come on, Steven. I can't. I'm laughing now. No, um. <laughs> Breathes like Egyptian cotton. <laughs> Oh, you know who that Michael is. Michael Scott. Michael Scott. So I started doing these cute little doodles of the office characters just to practice something new. So I started doodling them in a weird kind of cartoony way. But at the same time, it I kind of kept the same features as each office character. So we got Michael Scott. And we've got Dwight Shrew and... Angela. Dwight is on point. Jim okay. and Pam. No, yep. that one called it. It's oh, so oh. cute. I really, and I totally, I don't even know how that happened. You see that on his uh, face? Just, you ruined it, really. I really did. I mean, I can't stand to look at it now. Uh, I'm joking. And then, who they? Oh, yeah, him. Ryan. And that other guy, Ryan. Ryan. And Andy. And Andy. And uh, Kelly Kapoor. Uh, yeah, her. <laughs> Steven! I'm Rusty. I just got done watching Parks and Rec. Oh, and I want to do Parks and Rec of series in this kind of style. Ross and, Watson. Yep. I started to draw. Mm, bacon. And, and, <laughs> I started to bacon. shut your face. We've got, okay, so here's fun fun thing about this. Okay. So I started draw. I watched Phantom of the Opera because they just put it on Netflix. So I started off sketching this. Uh, Didn't uh, like it. Uh, what, uh, what, 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 what? Look, right. I did the Phantom too. <laughs> That's all I had. I was really hoping. You'd I have love a your Phantom. Up. I love it. I love it. I love I it. I love it. Love, 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 love. Okay. This is the first sketch. This is a sketch I came up with. So it's like the same image that I found from the Broadway show of both of them from Music of the Night. But then I was just like, I gotta do it again. Okay. And you don't know who this is. Back to the Future guy. <laughs> Marty McFly! Hey, that's more than I knew last time. There you go, that's good. So, I love this sketch so much. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Bacon. Very proud. And the thing was, the reason why I drew Marty McFly is because Steven was with a DeLorean for like a whole week on I was, a rally I of North America, mm -hmm. right? And then, after I made Marty, a couple days later, I made Doc and Einstein. So I got Marty, Doc and Einstein, and then you got, you see the flux capacitor sketch that he made, and I actually went back to watch it, and I saw he did that in blue ink. Yay! And of course everybody knows this one. It, yeah! What is it? That girl! Right! It's the Neapolitan girl, based off of the ice cream. And this was the Draw This In Your Own Style Challenge. What? And then this is like the only draw this in your style challenge that I did from Violet something on Instagram. I already forgot. It was the only one that I recreated because it was the only one I had time for. So I think it's cute. It's cute, right? Yeah. Yeah. Lots of green. <laughs> and then ah, we the Ronald. The original Ronald, wasn't it? It's not Aren't original. These the, the original sketches you mm -hmm. sent? Nope. They this is like just it. some of them. I like this one right here. He's so cute. I love this one. He's like, <laughs> I each, uh, I tried to write this in, but my pencil is getting pretty dull. It says I each, I eat people before coffee. <laughs> and then I've got to this. And then there's Doc and Einstein. And again. Then, again. And there's Mavis, Johnny, and Denise CD, I forgot, Dennis. <laughs> From that movie I haven't seen. From Hotel Transylvania. Yeah, exactly. Who that? Ah, Goofy movie. Goofy and Max. I watched that one a ton back in the day. He did? Mm-hmm. That was a good one. I thought it was cute. And then I've got all these doggos. Now you know who They're everyone is. my dogs. Exactly. This That's is Jazzy. Mm hmm And she's what? A Twinkie? She's a Twinkie. Yep. Yeah. Yep. This is our half uh, greater Swiss mountain dog, half Labrador named Panda. Mm-hmm. She's a donut. 
<laughs> and this is our Labrador, half Labrador, half Pit, She's Bella. So and she's an eclair. Now, this is something not many people know this movie. Avatar characters. Nope. It is Moon. I knew that. No, you did. No, I didn't. No, you didn't. No. He does act like an Avatar character, though. He looks a lot like him, too. And then we have the mint chocolate chip girl, like the Neapolitan girl. Another one. And then... Napoleon Dynamite. Who's this? Pedro. He's Napoleon. Deb. Deb. And I am re... I'm doing one last, like, ice cream girl, like, I did mint chocolate chip and Neapolitan girl, but it's going to be strawberry shortcake. My favorite ice cream. What? It is it? Oh, yeah. Really? Perfect. There you go. And then who drew this? Oh, that's me. <laughs> What's going on here? Oh, nothing. Let's just keep on going. <laughs> I love you. I need ice cream in a toilet. Is it pee or poop? <laughs> and then this was your idea. Oh, yeah. What is this? If you said that you were going to be the dramatic penguin. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. us. It's me, the dramatic parrot, and here's the dramatic penguin. Coming soon. Coming soon. And it's not done. And then this is just a sketch I did on break of Rapunzel from King Old. Totally my style, everything. Didn't I can tell anything. that drawing got a little hairy. <laughs> but I'm bum. And then I started to draw Belle from like the last scene from the live action Beauty and the Beast, and I didn't like how it turned out, so I just stopped. Hey, though, I love watching these half done sketches, though, because I think that being able to see the technique and how you built them mm -hmm. is really cool. Because, oh, yeah, we're turning backwards. See all these where she's like tested all the colors? Her skin tones are totally on point. And like I said, I'm a nerd for the detail. And I think it's really cool to like go through and be like, oh, she tested this red and this red and this pink and this red. And that's what she settled on. I think that's awesome because it's not like, oh, I'm lazy. I'm going to pick up and draw. Like you can tell there's really some craftsmanship going into each piece of artwork that she's doing. And I think this is cool too. Even though she doesn't dig it, you can see the outlines on the face. You can see that everything here. I've got one page left. And it's the horse. It's shiny. Yeah. A whole sketchbook. This is my summer sketchbook because summer is slowly coming to an end. So, yep, that's the whole summer sketchbook. In I got... conclusion. In conclusion. Finish your sketches. That's the one thing I've learned from Dramatic Parrot more than anything else. Or because don't finish I them. am no finish them. No. Finish them. Yeah. Okay. Because I love being able to see pages like that you did with Ronald on the sketches over here. There's so much going on in that photo. You can tell it's all concept stuff. And I love that because I like being able to, like I said, see the technique. But also, the more you practice, the better you get. She tells me that all the time. Mm -hmm. And I have a bad habit of not finishing my sketches. And when you do, they look good. I was like, oh, maybe You're I You're smudging him! I did. No, 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 Close no, it. No. All right, so there is my summer sketchbook. It is always important to practice at least once a day. What is it? What is it? What is it? Thank you guys for tuning in. Do, 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 do. Thank you guys so much for watching and get your sketchbook. Give yourself a time moment and get the whole thing done within two months, one month. Challenge yourself and draw once a day. It always will get you to where you want to be and never throw away your sketchbooks because you can look at the progress you have achieved by looking back on your old sketches. I hope you guys have a most wonderful day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Say bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. Da 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 da